Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Spaz 24-7. Quick turnaround after that 15-inning game last night. Not getting home until about 12.30-ish. Uh, uh, maybe even a little later, I don't know. Uh, by the time I went to bed, it was after 1, I can tell you that. Because uh, it take, takes me a little while to wind down after games. Uh, but I slept till about 10. Uh, which was good. I was kind of sleeping in, I think. Felt like I got at least a you know, good amount of sleep in. Uh, but uh, got up, edited the vlog, got the uh, vlog up. So if you haven't seen our medieval night at the ballpark, check out the uh, card right here. And uh, now it's time to grab some lunch and head to the ballpark. So I'm thinking Zoe's. Let's go hit Zoe's. It's a Sunday fun day here at the ballpark. Everybody's out playing catch on the field. But the real guy we need to talk to today is the guy who's probably really exhausted. That's Chris here, buddy. Uh, how you feeling after 15 innings? Uh, Got to get in here early. Luckily, no BP today. No BP. No BP, but 15 innings plus a late fireworks show. We didn't get out of here until 1.15 last night. So it was a long night, hot today, long day, but it's the last day of the homestand. Last day of the homestand. He's got a little bit of extra energy, and he's a young buck, young buck. So let's get to playing some baseball here at the ballpark. A good game. Hoppers win seven nothing. I am now over at the Market and Kitchen at Revolution Mills uh, to join Tanya and Sam. It's uh, Natty Greens. It's like the butcher, the brewer, and the, I, I don't remember the other line. So uh, we're gonna go check it out because I've never been here and it looks awesome. So uh, let's go have some dinner.
a great time out at the Natty Greens Kitchen and Market. Uh, the Butcher, the Baker, and the Brewer. I think this place is really awesome. Uh, and I didn't realize all three names before, but now I know that it is the Butcher, the Baker, and the Brewer. Uh, because they have a full-fledged uh, butcher shop uh, right there that you can go to between 11 and 8 p.m. Pretty cool. You can pick up some sausage, some Angus beef, or some chicken, whatever you're looking for, or ground beef. Great. It looked all fresh. looked amazing. Uh, the bakery uh, is that they're making their own bread that they're serving there at the restaurant right in-house, which is amazing. Uh, I thought the bread was really good. But then again, if it's fresh, it's going to taste good. So that is awesome. And, of course, the brewery. Hello, our favorite Natty Greens beer. Uh, I was enjoying both the American IPA and the Mount Mitchell IPA, which, if you like IPAs, the Mount Mitchell is your first try. If you haven't had it, you got to have it. It's, it's awesome. Uh, but, yes, go out there. The food was delicious. We enjoyed everything we had, even the peach cobbler. Mmm, was so awesome. This Sunday fun day was awesome. Had a great time out at the ballpark seeing everybody I knew, as well as the Hoppers win 7-0. So they have a chance. They have a chance. A real playoff push. Uh, going into today's game, they were one game back, and they won. So I don't know what the standings are as of right now, but it is a real playoff push down the stretch. Ten home games left. Ten Ten. That's it. Ten home games left. So if you haven't gone out to a game or you want to hit up another game, that is it. We come back on the 15th, uh, play seven games, then we're off for a little bit, and then we have a three-game stretch to end out the month of August, and we're done. That is it. So uh, minus playoffs. If we have playoffs, then we'll happen after Labor Day. But uh, there's a real chance, a real chance. Plus, they play the Intimidators, who they play tonight, like another 10 times. And they play Hickory, who's above them, currently by a game, another six times. So there's quite possibly a chance that uh, based on the way these teams are playing and who they're playing, the Hoppers could be two or three games up in first by the end of the month. It is going to be a real, real playoff stretch down here. So... The Greensboro Rotary, for their 100th year anniversary, is doing a carousel. And you saw in the montage, I'll put a little bit of a clip here, of the grasshopper piece that is going to go into that carousel. How cool is that? This is so awesome uh, that you're going to be able to ride a grasshopper on this carousel. Uh, the hopper is donated uh, into this uh, piece that's going into uh, the carousel. Uh, and that carousel will be over at the Greensboro Science Center. How awesome is that? Well, that's going to wrap up today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button and... Spaz out.